Dutchmen should be held more responsible because they're the ones that sells the vehicle. My main concern is not only myself and the damages that I've incurred, but if they did this to other consumers, somebody could get killed. And that's what scares me. Well, we bought the Dutchman in November of 2015. Besides having a door problem, uh, we left Florida and we went to Texas and then we stayed in Texas for a couple months and then we went to Colorado. On the way to Colorado, we noticed that the passenger rear dual wheel was, it just looked funny, like something, it looked funny and it was wearing funny, but none of the other tires were wearing funny and then my husband could see the uh, part of the wire, whatever that steel belt is, starting to come out. But it wasn't real bad yet. So he took the spare off and he put the spare tire on the uh, where that wheel was. And then when he was under the trailer, he noticed that the other tire, which I kept, the worst of the four because we had to take them all off, had the steel belts popping out of the edges and I sent you pictures of that. So we took the best, which was the only other tire we had that we had just taken off and put it on that other side, got the manual out, got the torque wrench, torqued them both on. When we left a couple days later, we stopped about 12 miles down the road to check it. It appeared to be fine. We got back on the highway and were not able to stop again because the highway that we had had no shoulder. Went about another 40, not quite 40 miles and the whole tire, that steel rim sheared off the back of the camper. I talked to Dutchman. They told me to take it into Camping World. And so I made an appointment and I took it into Camping World. They said the same thing that I've already been told five or six times by five or six different people, including some professional people, that uh, they agreed and that, that they thought there would be no problem and the Dutchman would cover the repair of the RV. And then they called me back later and said the Dutchman was refusing to have anything to do with it because the, uh, the roadside assistant gentleman wrote on the receipt that I where I paid 470 something dollars for the repair said that it wasn't seated correctly when the gentleman was on the scene he told me that there was no way he asked my husband if I, he knew what he had torqued it at and my husband said 140 and he said well it didn't matter what you torqued this vehicle or this wheel at because it's the wrong wheel for this type of hub because there was an aluminum tire on the trailer and the spare was a steel wheel that had an indentation around where it connects to the hub and he says it would have never held but he says I can't put that in writing because I've already been in a lawsuit with something like this and my boss gets mad and I said well if Dutchman calls you will you tell them the truth so when Dutchman called, the guy at Dutchman told him that it was a seating problem, that the tire was not seated properly and would not say anything else. So I took the tire. We had to go from there. Once he replaced the hub, he, we took the tire. We had, we had an appointment with Discount Tire that morning. That's where we were going to get new tires because we knew we couldn't make it back to Texas on the tires that were on the vehicle. So we took it to Discount Tire, and Discount Tire said the same thing. This is the wrong wheel. It would have never seated properly, and that's why you lost this wheel. We got all brand new tires, including one tire that we have right now that doesn't have a rim because I have to buy a rim to put it on because the steel rim, of course, is damaged, totally damaged. Can't ever use it again. So I took the tire to... A real good friend of mine who is a what they call a hot rod guy he's a hot shot guy he drives trucks all over the United States and delivers vehicles and trucks and loads and all that he said the same thing 
my brother took a look at it and he's a master machinist been a machinist since he was 21 years old without telling any of these people what I thought happened I asked them what they thought about it got the same answer my brother said this is the wrong tire for this hub it would have never seated properly because of the indentation it didn't make full contact with the wheel or the hub so then when I got down to Texas down in uh, southern Texas my neighbor is uh, he, we call him a motorhead because he builds and repairs cars his whole life and he sells parts on eBay we asked him to look at it he said the same thing I've had six people tell me the same thing that this wheel should have never been put on this hub because it would have never seated properly no matter what we did no matter how we torqued it or whatever and so Dutchman when I tried to call them to explain this they refused to let me talk to anybody they said that they would only talk to Camping World and so then I called Lion's Head who manufactures the steel wheel and they're flat telling me well it doesn't really matter what happened because it's out of warranty I don't know how a spare tire can be out of warranty when it was brand new when we got it was brand new when we put it on the trailer unfortunately my husband did not realize that it would not seat properly he thought it was the right tire given to us by Dutchman that came with the camper when it was brand new my biggest fear is is if there are other campers out there like this and they have tire problems from defective tires which they were and I kept one of them this is going to happen to somebody else and thank God I can't tell you thank God that we did not lose control of this trailer because the trailer was not overweighted as a matter of fact when we travel we don't even carry water in our tanks because we always stop at a campground and we don't want the extra weight